Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video help section in the platform of the Emerald Forest. As you can see, we have already logged in using emeraldforest.eu and now we are at the starting page of this competition, LTO1. This could be any competition. As you can see, there's a button here or a link which is called Decisions. Well, we're going to explain you something on that, so let's go there. In decisions, we're explaining to you what the most important decisions are. First of all, your team name and your team members. And then you have to make each round decisions on prices, on number of bungalows you're going to employ, rewarding or marketing and all kind of other items. So here you can find all kind of files. For instance, this one tips on decisions which you first have to read, which are very important and which will help you in making your decisions. The most important one, as is indicated here, is tips on decisions. So let's go there first. And as you can see, this is a file which is called tips on decision. All the decisions you were going to make in the Emerald Forest on, for instance, the number of bungalows you're going to employ in each market segment, all the information on that and the help you can find here. So the prices per market segment per season are explained. So if you see in the green, you can see some extra information, for instance, on the boundaries or the use of uh, separating euro signs, commas, interspaces and all that. So please read this carefully before you fill in your decisions. So your decisions on anything, for instance, on extra rewards of your personnel or your staff, but also on support of distribution, Please read this file first before you're going to fill in your decisions. Well, let's presume you have written this file and we're going back to the decision system. And at the bottom of this page, you will find the link, go to the secured section. This section is secured. You have to log in again because other teams don't have to know what your decisions are. As in reality, they are kind of secret. So let's presume you are this team in this competition. Then you type in your code again. As explained, this is a, a separate part of the platform, so you have to log in again. We have logged in now, and you can see here in this part, enter or change your management decisions. So that's what we're talking about now, the management decisions. You can view them. So these are the decisions which have been made so far. At this moment, there are only decisions for this year, which is the first year. In this case, 2011, which is the backlog or the history of Frank Bergman. But of course, you want to change your decisions. You want to enter your decision. So you will have to use this link. Let's do that. And as you can see, we have these white spaces and here in these boxes, you can type in your decisions. As you see, if you go very slowly over it, you will see there's also indicated on the screen what the values should be. So you make your decisions to price in this case, or the number of bungalows in this case used to be 250 bungalows were put in the leisure market. So you can change that for instance to 300. So you're going to type in all of your decisions here and at the end of the, bot at the bottom of this page there's a submit button which means you can send in or save your decisions. As you can see there's warnings so if you don't fill in the right numbers or the numbers are too high or too low or you filled in nothing you will get these kind of alerts so you're not allowed to leave out these decisions. Once you've made your decisions, you can change them as often as you want to. But don't forget that you always submit, which means uh, uh, save your decisions. So this system, we're going back to home, this system stays open during a specific time period. So there is a, a deadline, as you can see, in this case, we still have five days to make the decisions and then it's no longer possible to log in. 
During this period, you can change your decisions again and again, as long as you submit them or save them, and then you can change them again. So the best thing is to prepare your decisions, to fill them in, talk them over, and maybe make some last minute adaptions to them as well. That's no problem. This system will close down if you're not active for like 15 minutes because of security, otherwise other teams might just use your uh, login and change your decisions. So if you really want to be sure and you're finished here, please sign out. But the best thing is always first have a look at are all my decisions put in? Well, as you can see, in this case they are not in because they were invalid because I didn't fill in all of the right numbers in the right places. So always check that before you leave the secured section. And then please sign out. So to be sure that nobody can use your login. Well, as you can see, this is all in front of the real platform. So the secured section is a total different system from the rest of the information. Okay, in another video presentation we'll explain to you some other things linked to the secured section. For now, good luck!